Welcome to the grand final of knockouts from Belgrade, where East meets West. And through the medium of magical television, races and cultures combine. Belgrade is the gateway to the East. Lisbon is the gateway to the West. America, Africa, and beyond. And Lisbon play tonight. So now, let the children welcome you. And here we are live then at the swimming pool in Belgrade. Gennaro and Guido conducting the children. And the song simply says, when you wish and when you remember, you can simply come. Belgrade has a big heart. My city is a friend to all. And all the children come from a local school just round the corner in this magnificent, warm-hearted city of Belgrade. You can now see the audience 10,000 strong, they've come from all over the globe to this grand final. And in this bottom corner, you'll see about 200 Brits who popped in from the British Embassy in Belgrade. Gennaro and Guido, and here are the three presenters. That is Minia, Mertika on the right, and Dunia on the left. And they are all speaking Serbo Croat. But now let's get on and meet the teams who are going to make this grand final. So, first of all, the Belgian team of Les Dines. And they qualified in France, releasing the doves of friendship. They qualified in France with 45 points. The doves flutter aloft to the clear blue night sky above Belgrade. The Swiss of Itigan. They are a small suburb of Bern. They qualified in Maringham with 40 points. Issy Le Moulineau, and you've seen them in our own English international when they won in Sunderland with 40 points. We, I beg your pardon, with 38 points. The team of Dartmouth. Kate and Peter, and this just didn't fly. I hope it's not a bad omen because they're a very strong team. Well, it didn't fly so far, just for the battlement. But at least it took off. And we're hoping that Dartmouth will do just that tonight. From Italy, Lignano Saviadoro, who qualified in Lignano. Somebody almost jumped off the rampart. They qualified with 46 points. The team uh, from Portugal of Lisbon, they amassed 48 points and are the champions so far in that beautiful competition from Lisbon. Listen to the cheers now because the Yugoslavs come last, Pula, and they amassed 45 points in Pula themselves. Well, there they are. It's always 10 out of 10 for enthusiasm, the Yugoslavs. Six republics all coming together to make this mighty country. And we're in Serbia. We come to the first game. The whole thing tonight is music, music, music. And we're going to see six accordions, two boys in each. Everybody seems to play the accordion and the violin on every street corner in Belgrade. It really is a city alive with, with music, with gypsy Magyar music. So the accordions will be turned round three times. The accordions with two boys in each. 
and they are blindfolded. They can't see out. And the six accordions have to go through a maze. And the only way to get to the other end is by the instruction of a young lady from the same team. A real mixed bag of lingos you'll hear from Flemish and English and Serbo-Croat, Portuguese, Swiss German and French. They've been turned, disorientated, Presumably they don't know where they're going, but they're waiting for the off, and we are hoping, in trap two, that they will make a beeline for the gap. We're away, but we are in second spot. Oh, 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 chaos, we're going well. We were through the first maze, you can see exactly what they have to do. They've got to push the Belgians on one side. There are two ways into the maze, two ways in. Then they go to their left. No, we're wrong. So far, the Portuguese in the lead from the French. The Portuguese, the French, the Belgians. We're last. We're trying to follow some lines. We had it in mind that we had red lines and blue lines to follow, but uh, it's no use following anything. We're going to be last because finishing first, you've got to find your own way to the podium. And the Portuguese, I think, have finished. Yes, Portugal won, France two. Yes, and Belgium third, Italy fourth, the Swiss five, and we're last. We're still at it. We're still at it. Ah, we've got it now. We've got it together. A little nerves, I think, taking hold. They were trying to follow that red line that they're on now. But we're out of time. It's not a good start for Dom. Anyhow, we have already the position. Uh, some obstacles came down, but we don't matter. We take the normal arrival here. And I give you the position. Portugal is first. Um, Cracking start for Lisbon. Lisbon and Dartmouth are arch rivals because if you remember, in the first international of our series, Portugal beat Dartmouth into second place. For Italy, three points. Three points for the team of Italy. For Switzerland, two points. Two points for the team of Switzerland. And for Great Britain, one point. For the team of Britain, one point. Well, there's a sprint out, and uh, Gennaro's English absolutely perfect. Mexico with the Phil Rouge. And the theme, music, 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 is money, money, money this time. And it's obviously the same, uh, <laughs> the same word in Yugoslav, money, money, money. A lot of coins floating on the pool. A girl and a boy slide down a ramp. Off we go. That's up. The bridge. Gina and Martin race for the coins. They have to pick up six coins. File them on a raft. And you can see we're in trap two. There's Sheena, big girl, Martin, equally big boy, wanting a good time. When they got the six coins on the raft, the girl jumps on. Sheena will jump on. We'll follow the pictures that the Yugoslav director is giving us. Six are on now. She has to board. And then get back to base. The French showing us how. Take two more coins on either side. It obviously each hand and then back down the course and touch at the other end. We're away. Neck and neck with the French. We wanted a good time. We wanted a good time here and it's the French freshly in the lead. And don't forget the game is the record game just as every few rouge has been throughout the series and this is very exciting now because there's nothing in it. 
Just an inch or two between the French and the British. Will Sheena touch down? Will it be Sheena or will it be Laurence? It's the French. And us win second place. Portugal third, Italy fourth. <laughs> and we could have a time of 122, which is very, very respectable. The Brits from the embassy and the tourists down from Dartmouth and Devon. And the scores. Well, the judges are concerned. Francesca Gradi, Sile Molino, here dal minuto deve essere il secondo. Gran Bretagna, 1 e 22. 122. Via dal minuto deve essere due secondi. Portogallo, 1 e 22. Lissabon, via dal minuto deve essere due secondi. Italia, 1 e 23. Lignano, Stadia d'Oro, via dal minuto deve essere due secondi. Jugoslavia, 1 e 33. This is very interesting because you'll hear uh, Gennaro speaking English to Minha. This is Italian to Machica, and it'll be French to Dunia. You'll have three languages spoken throughout the entire program, you students of Lingo. And that's not bad news. 122 is very, very respectable, as I said. On to game two. It concerns a troubadour and his lover. They're the lovers on the top. Five girls who don't like the lovers from opposing countries and they bombard him as he passes beneath their gaze along the rickety bridge across the pool. Our first lover a young Italian male. Marino. <laughs> Takes his hat off. He's got to get three flowers out of the pool. He's bombarded with bombs and buckets of water. Five ballistas. <laughs> he looks like one of those Portuguese explorers, doesn't he? From the 15th century. Like Vasco da Gama. He's got his flower and a bucket of water, passed his hair, what little there is. Obviously had a Yugoslav haircut. <laughs> they trimmed them short in Yugoslavia, by the way. Don't like long hair. In, rings the bell, end of game. Girl comes out, swift embrace, knocks her down. <laughs> Time taken for the bell. The kissing and the hugging and canoodling is purely for us. Uh, 35. 35 seconds for three flowers. The Belgian. He is called Yves. And what he's not a lover, he teaches uh, physical education. Oh, very ginger. Oh, very ginger. Oh. <laughs> Look at those legs. That's just the red. <laughs> That's just the emeralds about him, I think, somehow. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh. oh. He set off so gracefully, didn't he, really? Like some ballet dancer. He finishes up like a clog dancer. Oh! Struck again. And the music is from the Il Trovatore, by the way, if you're studying. Oh, we've got to keep you well informed, it's that type of program. Ding on the bell, out comes young lass. They clutch each other. Forty-nine seconds for the team of Les this one is a bank clerk, he's only 17. <laughs> and he's not very happy with his cloth hat. Jörg, he's called, he's 17. And <laughs> hit first time by the latter lot. Obviously not his own teammate. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if anybody does this game in the dry. Because obviously it's much more easy when your clothing... 
is drier than when it's soggy and wet. Time creeping on. 30 seconds. Coming up to 40, two. Come out, he says, out you come. You young jockey. And if you're wondering at this stage if our English lover is going to perform well, forget it because we're not in it. This is Yugoslav. Branku. In the autumn of his career, he's 35 years old. Oops. Now, will he do it in the dry, this guy? I've seen him have a little practice. And he did. Oh, he got. <laughs> 25 seconds elapsed. He's the fastest. He could come up for 30. No, he's not. The Italian's beaten him with 35, but he's coming up for something like 38. Rapturous applause from the Yugoslav audience. 38 confirmed. We could do with a muck or nettles performance now from the Portuguese. <laughs> the crowd cheer every time it takes a tumble, quite naturally. The Portuguese in the lead at the moment after one game with six points. And he's got, he's fast, he's very fast. He's got this to do. And he's coming up for the fastest time of the night and it's 30 seconds on the nose. A smile, a song, and a touch of the old fardo. Uh, <laughs> 30 seconds confirmed. <laughs> Patrice, who's a plumber. Wrecks the podium, but never mind. A torrid start. <laughs> and you could hardly say those legs were heavily muscled, could you either? A trifle spindly. Oh, what a good picture. Lovely, lovely picture. All the tension there of collecting flowers. This could be the Olympic Games for him. He may never star in any other drama like this in his life. 40 seconds. One, two, lost his way. Ding, 43, maybe. 43. Alors voici les points pour le Portugal, 10 points. Lisbon, 13 points. Two games, one for Lisbon. Somebody will have to peg them back. Pour la Yougoslavie, 4 points. Pour la Serbie, 4 points. The metronome, which is the key to all music, of course. Held by Minya, who is giving you the clue to the next game. It is the metronome game. We're on the right. Alan Cook, sometimes farmer, now performer of Dartmouth, has to collect the notes on his left. The Swiss gentleman collects the notes on his right. You'll see four blue ones. They collect the four blue ones first, and then they have to grab the white one. The guy who grabs the white one first and puts it on the other side of the music scale is the winner. A lovely set. Position them right. They have to go away from the game. 
a game of skill. Mr. Alan Pook against Mr. Livio Rabadoni. Alan's got one. He's got to take them from the top. Oh, that was a blow. He's hit the top one first. Oh, that puts us behind. Come on, Alan Book. And they've got to cover the white spot. Oh, well, well behind the clock now. Well, I think a trace of nerves. The rules are quite clear. Alan Book will really have to go some now. He's catching up. He's a stronger boy. He is going to catch up. But it, instead of being a fantastic time, it could be a very ordinary one. He's a strong man. He's got the three, and they've got to go on the white dot. He's got the four. Well, it's a magnificent recovery by Alan Book. That goes on the top, over the white spot. He goes back now and takes the white disc. But what a time he would have had. It's his, it's his, I'm sure it's his. Ah! Oh. Gets back on the metronome. And the Swiss gentleman cannot do much about it. It's gone. The Swiss is finishing second place, but Alan's got to get back. Come on, Alan. Well done. He's got to uh, fix it, and the game finishes, and we've missed a few heartbeats. It's got to go on the top. Oh. Gosh. We're having some heart-stopping moments here. 1.38 we make it. Oh, well, I think he just lost his nerve. Because it, it really is exciting out there. It's a grand final. Everybody wants to win it. They've all come through the competition. But nerves are taking a hold. Out there for an hour beforehand, this crowd was absolutely at fever pitch. There will be two elements on the scoreboard. You'll see it there. Switzerland have got four notes in 65 seconds. Five notes in 99 seconds. We must at least finish third in this game. There are three winners, three losers. And obviously we take the time. Next, the Portuguese and the Belgians. And 99 seconds could still be a winning time. Portugal fast. Not making the same mistake. But the Belgians coming up. You know, the Belgians have uh, let seem surprise us all in France when they won. We fancied Warrington very strongly, and uh, we also fancied the French team of Vancy, but this Belgian team crept up from nowhere. Whoa, look at the speed. And the, oh, well, yes, that Portuguese was so fast off the block. And they, they surprise you, these Belgians. They come up from, from nowhere. They seem to be taking the game so easily, and suddenly they come up and win it. Five points on the master scoreboard. If he disturbs them, they come off. He'll have to have them thrown up, but he's won it. And the time, roughly 1.05. So we have good times here. Belgium, five notes with 63 seconds. Uh, 5.63. Off the block. Very quick, the French. This will be a good heat because uh, the Frenchman is uh, Jean-Marc Blasonneau and uh, he's dropped his notes, the Yugoslav. Oh! This is really putting him back. And he's a teacher, this boy. Goran, the Yugoslav, a teacher, but the Frenchman, oh, racing off. Blesano, I told you. He's the French 400 meters and 800 meters champion. You saw him in Sunderland, the mighty competitor. Take some beating, this guy. And could have the best time as well. Lap time, 40 seconds. 
takes it, holds it in his teeth. There's no stopping Blitzer though. He's mustachioed, very swarthy. What a competitor. No mistakes here. Bungs it in at the top. Comes off. Oh, he was taking risks. But his time, he was hell-bent for it, was something like 58 seconds. 57. Certainly the fastest time. And we shall finish in third place. So we have for Yugoslavia, four notes, 47 seconds. Certainly not as the rest of the second is I keep it. Five notes, 57 seconds. Pet notes as the rest of the second is the Naiboli of Rennes, as the primary is more Naiboli concurrent. And now the point, France, six points. The pet point is the equip of Isila Mulino. Belgium, five points. Lettine, pet point. Great Britain, four points. Dartmouth, seven points. Then Yugoslavia, three points. Tula, three points. We need to keep piling on a few points now. We cannot afford to finish anywhere out of first, second or third in the remaining games. And we play our joker on game seven. But Lisbon are in the lead with 14 at the moment from the French with 13, Lessini with 10, Lignano 8, Pula 7, Itigan 6 and Dartmouth last at the moment with 5. Round 2. Money, money, money. Theme of the Fil Rouge. And the French have the best time so far of 119 on it. We are second with 122. So watch it now, we are second from the left. On your picture, second from your left. He's stuck at the top, what's he doing? That was Malcolm Schillebeer, who is a butcher. Hope she chops his meat a little quicker than that in darkness. His partner is Jackie Davis. A good, strong lad. We're looking for a better time than 122. Second from the left, keep your eyes peeled. An enormous amount of noise swelling from under the, the awning here. This is an enclosed pool. The pool at the back of the picture, of course, is open to the air, but... Uh